WESH 2 NEWS CONTINUES. A STATE AGENCY HAS GIVEN THE FINAL APPROVAL FOR A TOLL ROAD TO BE BUILT THROUGH A PORTION OF PRIZED CONSERVATION LAND THAT'S BEEN PROTECTED FOR THREE DECADES. THE ROAD WILL CUT THROUGH THE BOTTOM 60 ACRES OF SPLIT OAK FOREST IN Osceola COUNTY. WESH NEWS' MEGAN Milato JOINS US LIVE FROM OUR Osceola COUNTY BUREAU. MEGAN, DOZENS OF PEOPLE SPOKE OUT AGAINST THIS TODAY. Yeah, that's right. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission heard from about 40 people this morning, including conservationists and also a local county commissioner. The significant majority spoke in opposition to this, saying this is a bad idea for the long term health of this wildlife area. 86% of Orange County voters in 2020 expressed their opposition to any impacts that would harm this forest. Orange County Commissioner Emily Bonilla was among the dozens of people speaking out about a toll road being built through Split Oak Forest, which spans Orange and Osceola counties. On November 28, 2023, Orange County, in a 6 to 1 vote, made a statement that it is no longer supports the impact on the forest by the road construction and will not sign to amend any of the interlocal agreements between FWC or FCT. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission ultimately voted to approve a deal that would release 60 acres, allowing the Central Florida Expressway Authority to build the road in exchange for the agency pledging $43 million to restore and maintain more than 1,500 acres donated by developers, providing lasting preservation of that property and the nearly 1,700 acres of split oak and to buy more conservation land. All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anybody oppose? One. So motion passes six to one. This comes after several negotiations and public hearings. The topic first put on the table back in 2012. Many locals worried about the impact and threat to wildlife have been suggesting an alternative route or an elevated roadway. One of their biggest fears is having this set a precedent. If this land is given away today, what is to stop this from happening again and again in the future. But the commission sees the deal as beneficial. They say the property could eventually be imminent domain anyway, meaning they wouldn't get the additional land or money. If we do nothing, do they just come in an imminent domain and we get nothing? We don't get 1,550 acres, we don't get $23 million to restore it, we don't get another $18 million for additional Florida corridor. Now the timeline for this project is still up in the air as there are many steps that would need to be taken before construction could begin. For now, we're live in our Osceola County Bureau. Megan Mulatto, WESH 2 News.